Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed and I'm asking you again, is Farmhouse dead? Now don't freak out, I don't think it's dead. If you love Farmhouse, keep it in your house. But I redid this piece about two years ago and my style has changed a lot. And so we're going to change this piece with paint really quickly. I'm gonna give it a modern classic look. So if you wanna see this makeover, just keep watching. So I do love this finish. I loved it when I did it, but I have seen so many of these French provincial pieces done in all black and it's so gorgeous. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use silk all-in-one paint. So this project is gonna go really fast and I'm gonna start off by removing the hardware. And I originally waxed the body and the drawers of this piece. So I'm gonna remove that with some rubbing alcohol. So if you didn't see the video where I made this over, I'll link it so you can watch it first if you're interested. But when I sealed it, I sealed the body and the drawers with this easy peasy spray wax, which I love. This is not a highly used piece because it's in a dining room. So it gave it a beautiful protection, but you don't want to paint over wax because your paint is not gonna adhere well, especially with the silk, you really need to remove any wax. So all I'm doing is just taking some rubbing alcohol, getting that on my rag, wiping it, and then taking a clean rag and wiping it back. And that's gonna help you remove all that wax residue before we start painting. The top we don't have to rub down with alcohol because that was actually sealed with a gator hide, so I don't need to remove any wax from the top. Okay, now that I've broken down all the wax, I'm gonna clean my piece with my white lightning, so I'm gonna add this to my bucket and add some warm water. Like always, you have to get that soap residue. So now I'm gonna take some clean, warm water and rinse everything down. So on these top drawers, I have a little bit of cracking, which is fine for this wood look, but that's not gonna be great for the paint. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Dixie mud in here to smooth this out before I start painting. Now that my piece is all clean and my wood filler is dry, I'm gonna sand this back and I'm also gonna scuff sand the entire piece because with silk all in one paint, you really wanna have the surface scuffed up. It's gonna help the paint adhere better. You can do this by hand with a rad pad. This is the very fine color. These come in a variety pack. I love these. They're really flexible and easy to use, but I have my surf prep sander that's gonna make this go a lot faster. So that's what I'm gonna use, but I'll show you this in action in case you wanna use one of these. So I always get asked this question a lot, why I spray with drawers in and why sometimes I spray with them out. Well, when you have a piece like this that your drawers fit flush with your frame, it's a lot easier to just spray it in here. You're gonna get very minimal overspray. I'm gonna use some tape to kind of protect the inside of the frame. Um, and that way I don't have to tape off all the drawers. It's really up to you, it's a preference thing. But when I have a flush frame like this, keep those drawers in. Just to remind you, I'm gonna use this silk all-in-one paint today on my makeover in the darkest color they have. This is called Anchor. 
And this paint, you can't water down as much as the chalk mineral paint you've seen me use. And I'm gonna spray this today because I love the way this sprays. It goes on nice and smooth and I've done it several times. So to water this down, you use one ounce of water per 16 ounce of paint. I'm gonna pour two cans of my paint in my spray gun and add that two ounces of water. I don't care how many times I spray, I always test it out on a piece of cardboard here. And just if you're using the same sprayer as me for my silk setting, I like to have it set at a five and I have my material flow almost all the way open. I also have a really great video for people who are new to spraying. So I will link that in the description box for you guys and up here in the upper right hand corner. My two biggest tips for you when working with a sprayer is to be a lot closer than you think you need to be. You only want to be six to eight inches away from your piece and overlapping is key. I like to overlap 30 to 50% on each stroke. So I'm definitely keeping the hardware because this is very indicative of that French provincial style. But these are really aged and patinaed and I kind of want them to pop a lot more. So you guys know, what am I gonna use? My favorite gold gilding wax to make these shine and really pop. I'm gonna clean them off and gild them. Okay, that is perfect. I'm not coating this with the wax. I'm really just using this artist brush to hit up those little details and help them pop. So I definitely think this looks way better than that. I waited one hour in between coats and I decided to flip it on its back to get some of the details that I missed when it was standing up straight. Remember, I'm not gonna have to do a top coat with this because I'm using silk. It has a built-in top coat and this will cure to a really hard, beautiful finish in 30 days. It'll be wipeable and cleanable and it has some UV protection in it too. Okay, while this coat is drying, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this piece and who it's for. If you didn't see the first video, this dresser goes in the dining room of my dear friend, Maggie, who works with me. She is behind the scenes, busting her butt for me all the time and has helped make pretty distressed what it is in the past two years. So I wanted to not only make over this piece for her and make it a little bit more glam and sophisticated for her house, but I wanted to do a whole dining room makeover for her. So at the end, you're gonna see this piece completely done, but we're also going to do new lighting, curtains and decor for her dining room. And it's gonna be pretty affordable. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, we're back for day two. We have changed locations. We are now in Maggie's dining room. So we're gonna finish off the dresser and we're gonna give this whole room a makeover. I just need to do a few touch-ups on the drawers. When you paint this with the drawers in, it goes a lot faster, but you can't actually hit the top of here and the sides. So I find a really quick trick to do this is grab a nice foam brush, grab your paint, and you can hit up these edges really easily. Last step for the dresser is putting on the hardware. So this is dried overnight. I'm just gonna take a soft microfiber towel and just kind of lightly buff it to polish it up a little bit. Okay, now it's time to make over the rest of the room. We're gonna start with changing out this light that's very farmhouse and industrial, and we're gonna replace it with something a little bit more modern and softer in a beautiful brushed brass. I 
I got this like from Amazon and it was really affordable. It is a dupe for some of the designer pieces that I've seen and we only paid $129 for this light. It did come in a tiny little box and I had to assemble it, but it was not that difficult. I made this table over for Maggie a while back too and she got new chairs for it and we are going to keep this the same. I think once we get all the other items in here, this table is going to fit really well. Next up, we're going to change out these curtains. These are really heavy and are blocking a lot of the light that's coming in. So I'm going to replace them with some linen light filtering panels. A steamer is going to be your best friend when you're putting up new curtains. And on these curtains, I only did one panel per window for a couple of reasons. This is going to save us money. And since it's a light filtering curtain, you can drape it across the entire window and it looks really great. So I'm taking down our farmhouse art and we're going to replace that. And I have a really cool tip for hanging art that I have seen recently. I wanted to share it with you guys. You can actually use a piece of painter's tape and mark where your nails are going to go on the back of your painting and then place that up on the wall and make sure it's level, find your anchors, and it makes it super easy to hang artwork. Okay, we're ready to move in the made over provincial dresser. It's kind of serving as our buffet and now we're gonna style it up with some pieces from Target and Amazon. I will link everything down in the description box in case there's anything you wanna check out. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed with this makeover. I love how this piece turned out so sophisticated. And because I redid the piece of furniture and did it really quickly in 24 hours, we saved a lot of money there. So we were able to splurge and buy all new decor and new light for this space. And it just looks so bright, so sophisticated. And everything I bought was from Target and Amazon. So, you know, definitely affordable for you. I didn't do any designer type of stuff. So to answer my question, is farmhouse dead? I don't think it is, you guys, because this table is really farmhouse. But now that we paired it with these other items that are a little bit more modern, classic, it's not as farmhouse and it still goes. So don't throw all your farmhouse stuff away. Maybe just pare it down a little bit and still keep your favorite items. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you soon.